I'm going to show you two examples of how we can take an equation and turn it into a graph. So here's example one. We're going to draw the graph of equation y equals x plus 2. Um, and our first step is to turn it into a set of coordinates. How do you do that? What you do is you pick different values of x, different numbers for x, and the equation tells you that y is whatever x is plus 2. So if I pick x is 0, then 0 plus 2 is 2, so y is 2. Basically, this equation is a rule which says in this case y is 2 more than x. So you'll see whichever x I pick, x is 3, y is 2 more, y is 5. Um, so this gives you a set of coordinates because a coordinate is made up of an x bit and a y bit. The x bit goes first and y, so for example this coordinate is 0, 2 this coordinate is 1, 3. And we can see that below. These are the coordinates, these orange dots are the coordinates from above, in the table above. So if we scroll up one more time, 0, 2 is 0 across, 2 up, it's that first orange dot. So our first coordinate is that first orange dot there. Second coordinate is 1, 3. Scroll down. 1 across, 3 up. We're using these small squares. You can see that I've missed out the number 1 because it would be too squashed. I've just put the even numbers 2, 4, 2, 4, 6. Anyway, so we said 1, 3 was our next coordinate and 1, 3 is where our next orange dot is. And it goes on. We keep writing down all the ping an orange dot for each of these coordinates. So this each pair of X and Y is a coordinate. And that's it. You've made the graph of y equals x plus 2. And um, once you draw, put the orange dots in, you can connect them with a line. In this case it's a straight line. It's not always a straight line. Sometimes you get a curvy line when you draw a graph from an equation. Um, and once you draw the line, you also put the equation that made it. So in this case, it's y equals x plus 2. If you look back at the question, it said draw a graph of the equation y equals x plus 2. So we got a set of coordinates. I could have chosen other values of x. I could have put minus 1 if I wanted to instead of 0 or 1 or 2. I could have put 100 if I wanted to. But I've just picked a few numbers in that are next to each other so we can see some sort of pattern. Let's go to our next example. We're going to draw the graph of equation y equals 2x plus 1. Like before, we're going to use x values 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 to get our y values that go with it which will give us our coordinates. So when, for example, I put x is 0, this, form, this equation tells us double whatever x is plus 1. So if x is 0, double 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. So when x is 0, y is 1. 
if I go to the next number when x equals 1 well let's put that in for x so 2 times 1 because x is 1 so 2x becomes 2 times 1 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3 so y is 3 and you can see that when x is 1 y is 3 and it goes on and again there is a pattern but that's something we'll discuss in another example again we've got a straight line you don't have to have a straight line but this is another simple example and simple examples usually come up with straight lines so those coordinates can be plotted here with these orange dots let's let's show you one or two let's let's show you one um, let's pick a random one from the middle this is a coordinate 2 5 where the x bit is 2 and 5 on the y axis so the great the coordinate is 2 5 let's look for 2 5 2 across 5 up that's it that's it so you got our orange dot at 2 across 5 up that's one of the five dots we've got and again we've labeled it after we've drawn the line with a graph yep so y equals 2x plus 1 made this graph and that's it